Good afternoon guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome back, well first of all what I'd like to do is welcome back the bucket hat, not James Robinson, but James Robinson is here as well, the bucket hat, top quality. Do us that nod again. There oh, you yeah. go. Right, we're out here and then hopefully welcome over to everyone from James's channel. James is talking new clubs or old clubs, he's changed his clubs, he's tried all the clubs but he's gone back to the old JPX. 921 tours i know you wouldn't know that 921 tours so but i think they're still current actually still current still relevant but the main thing here is james has tried a lot of clubs recently and they've not been fitted and we've found as you'll see from unfortunately from james's video he's played a lot more solid oh nearly got it played really well hasn't he? yes played very well so far a lot more control on the ball fight knows what he's going to get obviously you still have to swing it like but how good did they look as well? Oh, sorry. Anyway, right, 185. You've got a power back eight, yeah? Just, no, I'm going a little six here. I'm going to guide one. Play for Where the, are you guiding it to? Playing for the contours to bring it round. <laughs> I'm not sure the contours are that. The contours forgot to work. That wasn't the finest shot on the uh, first hole. So the last part through we played was about a similar yardage and I put it to about four feet. And that's why I changed club. What do you reckon, Chris, is to fade off the bunker? You can try and fade off the bunker. He has a lot more control. Again, fitted irons, guys, you're going to be able to do a lot more with the ball when you want to. But it faded off the flag. Uh, you know, I was trying to draw it in, in oh. fairness, but... Also relying on the contour. See, it's middle of the green, isn't it? It's just not the strike wasn't there, but it still went fairly straight. No, we'll pin, take it. Pin high. Oh, got it as well. That is another green in regulation. Terrible shot, but oh, someone's had a good one. They just let a team through, and they're uh, oh, yeah. they've done what we should have done. We probably should have watched and said good shots. I definitely didn't see it. Youth, youthfulness, that isn't it. It is. Should we show them? Should we get? Yeah, if the boys watch. They might do, but if they do, oh, you sir yeah, have that. hit a cracker. Um, yeah, so I, I really want to say, Chris, that I think people get sucked in to try and find irons that hit it a long way. So, like, you can hit a seven when you may hit a six, things like that, whereas there's no there's no getting around. You need a good fitting, you need the right shaft, you need the right loft to get the ball to fly through the window you want it to and to be able to work the ball potentially both ways. So Correct. if you're thinking of going for strong lofted power bats, go with it because they're cracking clubs but yes. in fairness they have changed your game haven't they but make sure again when you get the hype it's going to try them get fitted with your loft and lie see how they flight you have to see the ball go with the flight you want to see it's not about you know it's not all about ball speed is it no and one some might launch too high you might not like that some might launch too low again people think with the power bats as james likes to call them a little bit bigger, a little bit more forgiving. They think they're going to launch high, but I can pretty much do anything I want. We're with going to have to go, Chris. We're going to get a copyright on the lad's music. Terrible music it is as well. Oh dear. <laughs> it's not meatloaf, is it? No, it's not. And I don't know where my ball is. Well, right. we thought we had a casualty. We thought we'd lost the ball, but one well, of the, the young gentlemen has played my ball, so it's already been in the hole once. Yeah. Right. Very honest of him, though. I don't know why I'm putting my glove on for putty. No. Right. Tricky one. Have here. we told them the score yet, Chris? I am one down as per usual. I think they just come to expect that now. But nice easy pull here. I say nice easy pull, it's not an easy pull. Tell pulp. you what. That is exceptional. Is that even a gimme? Well we'll get down there and have a look hold your horses. Steady on some. <laughs> God, God, give me that. No. I don't even know where it is yet. It's too full. Give us chance, son. It's too full, man. And, and, and everyone, guys, comment below. Is James new vibe with his untucked T-shirt? Just, you know, they've been so hot today. In or out. It's just been a nice feeling to what have. What he really said is it makes him look a little bit slimmer well, on the old wide I think it lens. probably does. Nice of you to mention it, Chris. Have you lost weight, James? Yeah, I have actually. Oh, right. Five kilograms. Or kilos, or whatever you what say. Was that? that 13 trips to the bathroom yesterday. Yeah. Right. This is potentially for the match, isn't it, if it goes in? It is. It's low. 
Right, wait. And it's slow. Take oh. halves? I'll uh, take halves, yes. Take halves, and then we've got a cracking par four into the amphitheatre. And if you did watch the channel yesterday, I did a course management video on that. And you so absolutely you nailed it as well, didn't you, in fairness? I did. Played safe off the tee, and it's something that a lot of you Ooh. could learn from. That was a horrible horseshoe. It's just, yeah, you know what? I've got the stroke going really well at times, and then at times I just shove it. Shove it? Shove it. Oh, dear. Is that better? Shorter on the way through. Compact. <laughs> one hole left, door me one. Fresh line on the AVX. Mm. Right, do me one. I've played this hole before with the course management, so I'm going to stick to what I know. Sorry, were you talking? Oh, sorry, yes. Uh, bag clattered, are they? Are they? they are actually quite... Uh, beaten up. Quite worn, yeah. But that's fine. I don't mind that. Um, what, we're going here, driving iron? Yep. Four iron, down. Let's get a little low one, chasing. Great strike. Sounds unbelievable in the houses. It's a cracker, and I must say, I love the linksy vibe here as well. You know, you can kind of. Yeah, nice tight grass in fantastic condition. So, a big thank you to Martin and the guys here at the Trump for getting us out multiple times this week. Oh, it's a stinger. How good is that? Well, it sounded a bit high on the face. Are you joking? How can behind the face and come out of that? He's laughing. He's, He's lost laughing. It. He's lost it. Oh. So, Chris, what are your opinions on what I'm potentially trying to do and people's thoughts on irons in general? I think a lot of it when it comes to it's like irons. It's Parkinson, isn't it? It's like what? Parkinson. Parkinson? Yeah. Oh, Chat show. Oh, an interview, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Park it. I'm a park oh, it. Oh, park it. Sorry, anyway. Um, anyway, moving on swiftly. Um, yeah, when it comes to irons, people start to branch over shafts. So, shaft with a driver, everyone will be obsessed. Oh, I want an expensive shaft, I want an upgrade shaft, I want the best shaft I can get. When it comes to irons, people don't think as much about it. They just think, oh, yeah, it's just a steel shaft, it's either regular or stiff. And again, getting the right weighted shaft, something that feels good to you, depending on how you feel. Some people like to have the feel in the head, they can feel the head of the club, some like it to feel like it's all one piece. But that's where a lot of people miss out, and you've got the... They are AMT X100, so these go a little bit lighter in the long irons and heavier in the short irons, just to allow you to, obviously, it helps you get your, she wouldn't let me think, your long irons up and your short irons down. There we go. So you can control your ball flight more, basically. And how much of that actually works? Again, when it, when it comes to technology and golf, do we really know? But for me, they feel good. Yeah, and that's what it says. You wouldn't think maybe that they do get lighter. That's not something that most people think about, but you can see it's done for a reason. Right. Eight iron here. 165. A bit right. Well, that's not what you needed when you were one down with one to play. Not at all. Oh, it's on the green, though. I didn't need a 60-foot downhill no. slider. Not when Robbo's over in the fairway there. A golden hour, though, through the... Uh, it's a lovely view through there, look. Golden hour? Look at that. That is delightful. Chris, I hope you leave this in the video. Oh, look at that. Look it's at that. Right, anyway, sorry about that. Right. James is just wandering around like a lost dog because he wants to give the young gentleman in the red... We can just see him, his ball back, he's, has he made it, just, 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 just made it, he was worried about not getting that over, right, how far I thought it going, would James? be embarrassing, uh, I've got 145 Chris, I'm going to go full send with a wedge, full send with a wedge, it's downwind, it's a front pin, so it needs a bit of a landing angle here, so, well, I've gone extra wide lens, we don't need to now, you've slimmed down. Oh, it's up there. Is it long enough? Oh, it is. Stay, stay. Spin, 
spin. I think that's all right. I don't know if it's the turf as well that's making me think this, but the strikes have been really, really nice. And the, like, the divot pattern's beautiful, so. The divot pattern is beautiful. Well, again, when they're fitted correctly, you're gonna get better interaction with the ground. And it's probably the perfect club head for me because there's a tiny bit of perimeter weight in. They're not, they're, they are blades, but they're not. Um, but yeah. I'll tell you what, it needs a clean. Don't get that back in the bag, they've all yeah. seen it. Oh, he's gone straight past it, look. Oh. He's gone straight past it. Well, we'll pick his ball up again and we'll uh, return it when we see him. Okay, there I am at 60 foot. Not your best, and not to be fair, not my best with the wedge either, but we both hit the green. So, both hit the green. I'll let James do the honours. Thank you ever so much. Wait. Yeah, I'm glad I brought a top for night golf. Right. So I'm cut. Right, need this. Although two might get me a half. Come on. Oh, ooh, ooh. Get your butter out some. It's two foot. Well, I didn't, I didn't ask you how far it was, did I? It's two foot, man. I can't believe that's not spun back all the way. No, I thought it'd get back down there and then you'd Damien it. <laughs> oh, just. Just. Right, here we go. Robinson Cam, let's bring it back. Bring back Robinson Cam. Behind the hole. Ooh. You thought that was in, didn't you? No, I just thought it's yes, a good pace. You you it's it two foot in. pass, just like you said. And that is it. another win on the channel to start the year. Oh. <laughs> Unbelievable. Thanks for coming. So guys, unfortunately... Unfortunately. That's a defeat here at the Trump. But, but really think about it. If you're looking for new irons, don't go on the hype. Make sure you get them fitted correctly. We can see James has probably only fitted set that he's got his house. Yeah, he's they are actually. still... The best it's set. The best set for him. So I'd go more overfitting than just buying new clubs. So make sure you test everything out. Make sure you don't just buy into the hype. I'll see you again later in the week.